Hey YouTube, welcome to the Off Grid Mountain Homestead. A little video today on a, on a little ground mount setup. A little budget friendly rig for you folks on a budget. Um, but first, before I get into the video, we hit 4,000 subscribers. I want to thank everybody that subscribed, all my subscribers, all my viewers. Much appreciated. Can't do it without y'all. And tell your friends, let's try to get up to 5,000. So I much, much appreciate everybody sticking with me and some of my hillbilly stuff every now and again. But hey, this is what it is. We're all individuals, right? We all have our own little little quirks about us, and that's what makes you know makes the world go around. Everybody's special in their own way. But uh, anyhow, I want to show you folks a budget DIY-friendly little ground mount. Uh, technically, I guess you would consider this a temporary ground mount. And uh, I'll explain why I set this little rig up right here. I've been doing some testing. Uh, first off, I, I tried to get to the video before it started shading, but of course we're shading now, so apologize not getting the uh, the video, you know, during peak sunshine on this uh, little mini array here, but it's two 100 watt panels on a wood mount. Everything was laying around. I didn't spend any money on this mount. This is zero dollars right there. Nothing, no cost. So this might give you some ideas if you're on a real tight budget, it's something you can do at home. But uh, let's go, let's go over here. I just got some uh, SJO cord run down on the ground. 10 gauge SJO cord, excuse the, the irrigation hose laying there, but anyhow, comes over here to the hay barn. And uh, y'all remember this piece of junk, don't you? Well, it's not, you know, I drained it down yesterday, so it's, uh, you know, it's kind of low. It's been cloudy this morning on and off, so we finally got some full sun. But uh, what I've been doing, I've been charging this box up to 100% right here. But the reason uh, I'm charging this box and using that little mini array is so I drained this box down yesterday so what I'm doing I'm filling it up and I'm running a drop cord from this box into my powerhouse so that's helping offset my gas usage on on cloudy days or rainy days so I can rob two kilowatts plus or minus if you consider the inefficiency of the chargers you know they're about 85 percent efficient you know a little bit under two kilowatts worth of worth of juice out of this which will save me roughly a half gallon of fuel you know per per charge on that box so you know um and i've done some i'm kind of rambling off subject but my generator i did calculations and stuff i've been playing around seeing how much fuel i use i get a little over five kilowatts it's like 5.3 kilowatts uh, worth of electricity out of one gallon of fuel with the honda generator going through the iota chargers which we can cover more on that in a future video but Anyhow, it's the same ballpark, rule of thumb, five kilowatts cost me a gallon of fuel on a rainy day. Um, so, you know, at 350 a gallon, you know, this little Zendor saved me, you know, a buck 75, buck 80, you know, a day, just using it before I had to fire off the generator. So, I built this, I know I'm, I'm rambling, but it's all gonna come together for in the video. I built this as a test, a test array. This is southeast. Most of my, I got one array magnetic south, one array due south, one array southwest. Um, the weather this year has been a little different. Um, we've been getting a lot of morning sun, a lot of afternoon clouds all summer, and that's kind of been just, just messing up the works a little bit. So I'm doing a southeast array to catch morning sun uh, because the way my arrays are now with the woods and the terrain, the mountains, I'm not lighting off the panels until about 11 o'clock in the morning. So, you know, I'm, I'm losing you know, a few hours of daylight, so I'm setting up, this was a test array, southeast. So I just ordered a bunch, bunch more panels, charge controller and stuff, so I'm gonna be doing a full build out on a new array that's gonna probably go in this position. I've been playing with this, different, different angles and everything else uh, over the last you know, few weeks, testing out, see where the best position is gonna be. Sorry, I had to pause for a second, I had some yellow jackets around me. Let me get back where I was at. Uh, this is the, the best angle I found so far. So I'm gonna build a big, big array facing this direction, just, just like this set of panels right here. 200 watts, uh, series wire going to that Zendor. But anyhow, on to the free or DIY zero cost ground mount. Um, you can see I had some, some pallet wood. Of course, it's not treated, it won't last forever, but you know, for testing purposes, you know, it'd be better for you to use treated wood at home if you're gonna use wood. I got huge six and a half inch uh, screws going down through here six and a half inch screws there just simple cuts um, no you know nothing 
nothing very intricate or fancy just showing you something you can build if you got junk laying around at the house you can throw you a couple of panels out and uh, this one is stable it's, it's been through several thunderstorms the frame the wood frame on it probably weighs close to 80 or 85 pounds the wind hasn't you know won't blow this over uh, if you get you know 10 or 12 panels on something like this yeah you catch enough wind to, to blow it over but not with this one not with just 200 watts worth of panel there's not enough surface area for the wind to get up under it so it's rode through a hail storm had a hail storm a couple of weeks ago big old hail balls bad thunderstorm it it took it just fine got a little pull handle on here so you can reposition it uh, two people can lift it no problem but if you just want to drag it or adjust it you know, i throw a little handle on here uh, and set the angle you know just roll the thumb you know general general good performance year round just set it to your latitude uh, i'm not you know telling you what angle this is but you know it's it's set to my latitude so if you can guess the, the angle on that you'll know my latitude but anyhow just uh you know basic stuff uh, real easy so if you got some some treated timbers laying around you know make your little wood ground mount you know you could buy a little steel ground mount for something like this for uh you know 75 or 100 bucks something like that but you know a dollar saved is like ten dollars earned nowadays and with inflation and everything right so uh you may see i got a little extra wood right here i did this on purpose to show you you know that you can you can space the panels out further on this wood and you can leave a gap in the panels and if you do that, if you leave like a, you know, inch and a half, two inch gap, as the sun tracks through the sky, the ground's still going to get sun underneath. So if you're temporary in it, you might want to leave a gap between these panels. Then your grass, if you're sitting in your yard or something, your grass won't die because there'll be just enough light coming through through the day to keep it illuminated and keep the grass growing. Now you keep them tucked up tight, the grass is going to eventually die. But remember, this is a temporary. So on a temporary mount, you know, you could, you could space it out, save your grass. Uh, you know, just... Just build you something, just measure off your panels, give yourself a little extra little extra wood around it. You know, inch and a half, two inches of wood. So you can put you some brackets on. You see those brackets right there? You know what those are, right? Those are three quarter EMT straps. Just took some channel locks, lineman pliers, bent off my little little bracket right there. Panel's not going nowhere. So homemade, homemade Z brackets. So those keep it from sliding sideways. Those keep from falling down. Those keep from lifting up right here on the top. So, yeah, I mean, just get creative. If you're, if you're on a budget, you can get creative and uh, come up with some stuff like this for either testing or, you know, temporary, permanent, whatever whatever you want to do. Now, if I was going to leave this permanent, I would I would put 4 by 4s in the ground or concrete, bolt it to concrete, just in case you do get a, you know, a good 65 mile an hour storm ripper or something like that. It could possibly blow it over but uh you know with just a little small ray like this i'm not saying for something what can happen with the weather crazy stuff happens but you know you get some high winds it, it could flop it but you know 99 percent of the time you're probably all right just uh just having plenty of outrigger on the bottom and another thing you could do with something like this you could uh you know, if you have a driveway pavement you know something like that pavers in your backyard or whatever you could always put some locking casters under here so you could roll it around you know stuff like that position it you know if you're trying to collect all the sun you can get in one day you could do something like that and uh you can see this one's kind of low to the ground so it's only three and a half inches plus that so roughly seven inches off the ground i like them a little higher for more of a permanent setup because the grass you know a lot of people sit them real low or right on the ground well that grass is going to come right up or if you're cutting grass with the lawnmower it's going to throw it on there um i see a lot of people's panels just get coated with grass if they're real real close to the ground so keep that in mind too um, or you can, you know, you can, if you like herbicides, you can use some herbicide or just whatever you want to do to keep the grass off. But when you cut grass with a lawnmower or weed eater, that grass will glue to them panels in the heat. So just be aware of that. You might have to wash them more often, uh, all that kind of stuff. But, you know, just a, just a little video, hopefully give you some ideas. If you're, you know, looking for a budget, budget temporary uh, ground mount, just some stuff laying around. You might can build one for, for zero cost, just like I did here. But I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope this gave you some ideas. If you don't mind, please hit that like button. Uh, if you're not subscribed, I got a subscription from me. Questions, go ahead and throw them in the comments. And remember, we're going to be doing a full solar array build as soon as all the parts come in. So thank you all for watching the Off-Grid Mountain Homestead. Hope you all have a very, very nice day.